Hey guys, it's Kim, Angel Dream Crafts, and I am here today to share with you my second project for September for Craft Supplies 1. This time I've done a mixed media canvas, as you saw at the beginning, and this is a gift for a friend. And she loves fall colors and oranges and yellows, a little bit of green, but she really just loves autumn. So that was part of my inspiration, and the other inspiration was bees, and um, I did put... Um, a couple of bees on here because she likes bees so much. <laughs> um, but it was a great um, fun thing to do because I love doing mixed media canvases. And Julie has such great things that you can use on canvases. So let me get started. This is an 8x8 canvas that I use, and I actually got this canvas at Michael's. came in a set of four, um, and the canvases were actually all different colors. This one was an ivory background, so that's what I started with. And then I just started by layering... Um, some different uh, stencils and up here in the corner you can see this is the Tim Holtz stencil um, right in here. Um, it's called Measured. It's one of his new background stamps. So that was another inspirational piece for me was was those rulers. I just absolutely love them. And my friend Louisa gave me these ones from Seven Gypsies in a swap that we did recently. So I had those as well and I just love them. So that's where I kind of got the title Measured Flight from. And uh, all of these little pieces in the background that you see here, um, the black, these are all Tim Holtz rub-ons. So that's that. So I did all of that, and I've got some script stencil here I did with some walnut stain. And I used my Dina Wakely um, bubble stencil here with some orange ink from Simon Says Stamps. And then I just had some random paper in my stash that I used that has script on it as well, just to pick up the, the script stencil here. So I layered that all down first, and I used some of Julie's gorgeous laces, and I, I tried to keep it, you know, in a line going this way and this way, and it almost looks like a backwards number seven, and of course that's where I got the idea to put the number seven there. That's kind of the way it looked to me, so um, that was just the way I wanted it to flow. So I put the paper down, and then I layered some of Julie's laces on here, you can see right here, there's that one there, and then there's this beautiful one underneath here, which I actually have some right here, I believe. One second. Yeah, I've got some right here. So this is one of the laces that I use. It's actually one of my favorites from her store. I just love it. It's so, so pretty. I'm just going to move my camera just a little bit. I don't want to knock it off my table here. Um, but anyway, she's got this, and I love this. It reminds me of, like, a banner as well. So it would be cute to maybe drape along a hot air balloon or something even, or use as a little banner. I love that one. 
So that, oops, that's one of them. And then, do I have the other one here? Yes, I do. This is the other one that I used. Right here. And what I did with them is I got out my sprays. Um, I used Clam Bake Beige and another darker one from Lindy's Stamp Gang. If anybody wants the name of the sprays that I've used, just message me. I'm happy to share them with you. The background sprays are mostly shimmers. Um, the orange, the yellow, and the green, that's all shimmer stuff. I love shimmers products. So, again, if you want the names of what I've used, just drop me a line in the messages, and I'll be happy to share that info with you. So, after I did my spraying uh, of the laces, put the paper down, and I started to build what you see here. And this is just some wood that I had in my stash. And uh, I cut it up, and I put some up here and then some over here as well and I used more of my shimmers texture paste just on top of it and then I took some of Julie's metal filigree pieces which she has some great ones and this one here you can see this is one of the long ones that you can find in her store and um, I used two different kinds of embossing powder and it kind of came out like looking old and rusty so it's pretty cool the effect that I got um, I used a Distress, which one was it? Vintage Photo Distress Embossing Powder, and then the Stampenda Shabby White, and it kind of looks like it's just starting to rust around the edges, and it feels that way too. It's pretty cool. And then I just used a tiny little rub on there that says Soul. And then I've used more of Julie's metal pieces here. And I gave them the same embossing powder treatment. And then this one here, I left plain. So I just, I love these little ones. They look like little flowers to me. And speaking of flowers, these are all from Craft Supplies 1. And originally, these big ones were white. And I sprayed them with my shimmers. These flowers take the sprays absolutely great. I just really, really love them. And this one up here, I, I did like a peach color. And then I've got the yellow here, I've got brown, and I've got these beautiful orange ones, which I got in my DT kit this month. Um, and then over here, I've got one of Julie's doilies that come in the, <coughs> excuse me, mixed doily bag. And then these little ones here that I call Hershey Kiss Flowers. I'm sorry, guys, i got to take a drink. Sorry. <coughs> and... Uh, so I, I added those just to just to pick up a bit of the white that you see in the rulers and in the frame here. And the frame is a Prima frame. And uh, this was just from a journaling card, the little moon face. But I love the um, the circles and dots inside it because it kind of picked up the, um, the stencil that I did over here with the circles. And I just love the little moon face peeking out from the from the frame there. And then I used a Tim Holtz uh, piece here that says authentic. Um, and then, of course, here I've got one of Julie's beautiful, gorgeous butterflies. She has tons of beautiful butterflies. And this brown one, you know, worked really well with what I was going for here. So that's basically it, except for I did put some um, cheesecloth in the back here and sprayed it. Most of that got covered up, but you can see some more of the lace here and some more of the cheesecloth in the background. It's all in behind here. But, you know, when you're doing mixed media, you have to build layers, so those are great things for building layers, and it picks up on the color in the background that you can see through the, the wood bricks there. So that is basically my project, and I hope that you like it. Um, if you have any questions, do ask. And um, don't forget that Julie still got the uh, BOGO sale going on for the parchment flowers in her store. There's a lot going on with our team. Um, we have a great cross promotion coming up next month that you'll be hearing about very soon. And uh, we're also going to have some new designers on the team. So that is very exciting. So do watch out for those announcements uh, coming up. And always remember, Julie is always adding new stuff. You know, she calls me all the time and says, I have new stuff. <laughs> and it's really exciting. So uh, definitely go and check it out. Um, but really get yourself some of these flowers that she's got on sale, the parchment, one because, the parchment ones, because buy one, get one free. Like, not a lot of places do that. So go and check those out, definitely. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will be back soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.